Bonsoir racers, it has been a hectic, busy couple of weeks. We are back, we are racing, we are back at... changes to my mini that i'll talk about because um the usual tires that i run on the back are contact 37s can't get hold of those at the minute it's really been struggling so i've ha had to run some contact 40s now in a previous video of which i might put a link up there depending on if i can find it but just troll through you'll see um i usually run contact 37s and recently i started swapping during the course of a, of a race evening for 37 so i've got two contact 30 set two sets of 37s to run so i run quali one quali two with one set of 37s then i swap them for quali three and the final and that to be honest that has been working well the car's been biting and gripping really well not had any of those unfortunately i've had a couple of issues with driving standards recently uh we'll talk about that in a minute uh so my tires were chunked so i had to swap to some some new tires but not not what i think is ideal so i've had to run contact 40s now you would think that if i don't know if anybody knows how the tires work so the lower the number the squidgier the softer they are the more grippy they are the higher the number the less squidgy less grippy they are so contact 40 is not quite as grippy still source, sourcing all of the tire all the way across but it's taking a lot longer for the tyre to switch itself on and become really grippy. So a couple of little mistakes I didn't realise and I still went with the idea of swapping the tyres after Q2 for a new set of 40s that I had. So I had new contact 40s on for Q1, Q2. Struggled with grit. Should really have just left it alone, but I didn't. I went with what I thought was right and I swapped them for Q3 and the final. Now, Q3, I really struggled with. The car was sliding all over the show. And somebody said, oh, it, it can take uh, all night for them to really switch on if they're running 40s. So I put the original 40s on that I ran for Q1, Q2. Are you all keeping up? Anyway, the point being is the car performed okay, but not. It, it, you'll see when you watch the race, it looks like it's a bit back-end happy. There's a couple of times I'm I'm just I'm a bit tentative on the throttle coming out of corners because it just wants to snap on me uh, and spin the tyres up. However, I did end up a little bit lucky because of consistent driving. I uh, I did all right, even though I uh, I qualified in sixth place. Let's watch the race. We'll get into some more topics of conversation. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. Oh, this is Oh, no. Sorry, John! Whoa! Are you there, John? Yes. Oh, Brent! What are you doing? So you're Yeah, then snap them tyres on my bench and then you come on top of my pants, please, mate. Get them on tyre warmer. If you won't mind, please, pal. <laughs> them tyres that's out on my bench, yeah, loose, could you put them on top of my fans, please? Thank you. Number one fan. Oh, shit! Get out of there! Oh, you're fucking joking. Oh, you're coming for me, then! Honestly. Having a bit of a mirth. Yeah, it just wants to come round on itself, these new tyres. Oh, that was... Oh, I love 
We've been racing there, I would, I would cut. Oh, oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Back in now. <laughs> Too much running, running. I'll let him go, I'll let him go, I didn't follow through. Oh, 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 oh,
a little bit of luck and some misfortune with some other races. Although Rob were desperately trying to take me out. I were having to avoid him all night. I was really pleased with the result after once I'd started, I thought, you know what? Another couple of incidents and I'm definitely at the back of the back of the grid here. So it was just steady laps, steady laps, steady laps, lap after lap. And I managed to get a claw a really good result out of that. I'm not sure where that leaves me in the championship because I've missed two rounds. So people have done more rounds than me. So so far the points of tally will be a bit bigger. But I'm 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 hoping I'm I'm hoping I'm in the top six, top seven, that'd be great. Top five would be a real result for me. Um by the time the championship finishes. Anyway, let's get into some other bits. Those that follow my my little channel and, and if anybody follows me on Facebook and this, that and the other will probably follow the same sort of stuff that I do with regard to other forums and race series is when it comes to Mardaves and Camtex and all that sort of malarkey. Um, everybody was really upset that Unfortunately, for short, and that had a, a knock-on effect with the Rugmaster series. That unfortunately, through one thing and another, the Rugmaster series itself seems to be no more. Now, my understanding is there's a Mardave GP, but that's only open to Mardave cars because I guess it's their series, so they can do what they like. But for for me, for for the cost of these cars, I, th I think if you're running a national series, it'd be great to have a couple of manufacturers or else. I don't know. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to try to do some of those. But in the interest of um, my channel and ease of getting to a location, the team that used to that, that sort of took over Rugmasters have now created um, a race series just at Force Raceway. Similar format to Rug Masters, so it's running all 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 a day on a Sunday, which is ideal. It's brilliant that everybody enjoyed a full day of racing, or everybody that I've spoken to really enjoyed a full day of racing. So you would have, for argument's sake, either one or two practice timed practice sessions in the morning, then four or five qualies, of which your best two go towards the finals, and then two, maybe three finals. I think the the amount of driving that we're doing hasn't quite been organised or finalised. So keep an eye on the Neo RC Facebook page and they will, I'll leave a link in the description below and follow along, things will change, things will sort itself out. Something that they are organising and hoping to do is something I, that I, I love the idea What because I'm a big fan of British touring cars. And if you do really well in that, you get penalised for doing really well. They give you a weight penalty or re recently with the introduction of electricity and this, that and the other with the engines, I think you get a limited amount of uh, electric motor power. I don't know. It were better when they just threw breeze blocks in the back of your car and slowed you down that way. But anyway, I digress. So the, there was talk about doing something similar with the, the Neo Race Series at Ignition. And the way they're going to do that is a reverse grid for the final. But something the talk the talk with that was the issue you would have is if everybody starts on on the race grid in in sort of staggered formation on the race grid, is the really fast cars that start at the back. Although you're giving the slower cars at the front, the qualified slower at the front, a chance. By the time you get to the first corner, some of the faster cars that are in six six fifth position would already be on you and it would just be carnage into the first corner so what they've what they've had a go at doing is staggering the amount they start so everybody's really well spread out on the racetrack which i think is a cracking idea because it gives everybody two or three laps to get into a bit of a rhythm before you all start racing now with the top drivers when you qualify and go for uh, when, when you're in your actual position from qualifying so, you, so whoever is top qualifier starts on pole second third fourth etc that even though that's staggered about i still think that's a really good idea the only downside is those eight that those really fast lads might end up catching the tail enders just before they've done a done a full one lap so you might end up a lap down but at the end of the day the, the fast lads are the fast lads for a reason at the end of the day. And chances are you'd have ended up a lap down during the race anyway. But the 
the bit that I like and is really interesting is when you reverse that qualifying grid for the second final, everybody gets, um, so, the, so the slowest qualifier is then on pole. I think I'm doing this right. Stay with me, everybody. Um, and you get almost a lap because you've got a good, a good spread of cars on a staggered grid. Everybody gets at least a lap to get into a rhythm before they start battling with somebody. And it really, I thought, I think it will really generate some good racing. So because proof is in the pudding, we actually had a go of this on a Thursday night ignition. So cheers to Howard for organising it and making sure everybody, we kept really disciplined to time. So we had time at the end of Thursday to have, an, have, a, have a go at another final. So A, we get another drive, which, you know, track times, track time. Who doesn't like playing toy cars? But B, we had a go of what they're talking about for um, the Neo series. So that is a reverse grid from qualifying in a very big staggered formation. I loved it. I'll leave the video on the end of this. Watch. There, there will be some chat and some shenanigans as we try to organise where cars will be. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you like the idea of it? Very quick, rough explanation. I'll try to get more details from the guys who organise the Neo series and try to qualify it off a bit better before the first race, which... Again, I'll, I'll post it somewhere on the screen when the first race is. But yeah, get booked in. It's going to be a really cool Sunday. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Toodle pip. Yeah, yeah. Awesome it is. Sorry? You're not like... The first, the first finals for the points for the series. This is a practice. This is a practice. Somebody fetch some crayons and I'll uh, explain it in detail. <laughs> no. Yes, of course we will. So that's it. Dean's here. And that was an incident being first called up for everybody. Now, Carlsville, they're going through the technical position already. Well, Alcilene, Alcilene, Stuart, Captain Drake, Sir, Andy, Andy.